was footage being seen, you know, uh, you saw Chief Keith. Mm -hmm. Y'all shook hands. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it, a lot of people made that such a big deal. Like they had beef. That was something. that yeah. was that was one of the, that was one of the, that was one of the uh, the greatest days of my life because just to, to show the world and when I posted just to show the world, it ain't what the fuck y'all think. We like to get money, man. <laughs> when you when you get older, you like to get some money. You feel me, big bro? Mm. I had to get some money, man. I saw I saw Sosa. Like I saw a neighborhood friend, man. Pulled up, he was in the I eight. I saw him. What's up, bro? Zay? Keep getting to the chicken. That's it, bro. Some of the most influential artists in hip hop. Mike Jones. Definitely Mike Jones. My generation, Chief Keith. Definitely. I remember that. I remember like. That's another one too. I remember like they didn't, on the front, I, I had got it. And on the front, it wasn't even really like his picture with like everybody else. I remember that. Like I remember that and I, we was looking through it. He had all the photos, but yeah, he definitely influ influential. It's, it's impossible to be a successful artist and not be influential. Like it just comes with it. You know, it comes with territory with this and I guess being influential, you can, some people would say it's overstepping your boundaries, but I mean, everybody, you take something from everybody. Everybody do. I used to just listen a lot of like Chief Keef and shit. Word. Yeah. You love Chief Keef. Yeah. I felt bro hard. <laughs> That's like who, who I looked up to and shit. I was like, man. If what I was it about his shit that you like? Man, just everything. It's like Chief Keef, man, niggas crazy. Bro, was lit. I don't know, it was like a whole different era he came with. Like, it was just like, what the fuck? It was crazy, you know? What, what, um, you remember what grade you was in when, like, when that, when Chief Keep got? Like, six. Sixth grade, about. Before that, what did you like? Before that, I was just so like, I mean, your parents were Columbia, right? So what type of music was they playing? Was it was like. Nah, like, I, I wouldn't listen to Spain. I'd, I'd be bumping like 50 Cent, shit like that. So before that was 50? Yeah. It's like, oh shit, you know, um, Ludacris, yeah, and shit like that. When Sosa came out, it was like, oh, it's different. It's, it's crazy, yeah. And then you start rapping like, what, like ninth grade, eighth grade, something like that, or ten type shit, yeah, yeah. So like, that's where the style was from. Was it like based on like that drill shit, like more like yeah. just harder Almost, shit? Yeah, it was like that. And then I'm trying to mix it up with like my own shit. Uh huh. Then it kind of like. Came out. Did you ever feel like, man, them niggas is like really cut? I, I said something to you about it on Friday, yeah. but like, yo, them dudes is really from a war zone. Like, yeah. whereas like the shit they be talking about is like, it's crazy. It's crazy, it the, but it's it like, goes down, it really goes down. I remember uh, Chief Keith was on the Double SL cover and I, I liked it because he wasn't even there and he was on the stick and it was just lit because yo, Sosa had to be on it, you know? So, and they put him on this respect. Yeah, right. So, yo, yesterday was also Chief Keef's birthday. He's only 22, which is pretty amazing. So, even rappers like TK say that Keef was a huge inspiration to him. We've talked about this a lot. You think he inspired a generation of rappers and he doesn't get enough credit. Yeah, the new gen, I, I mean, the new gen is crazy. To me, Chief, this is gonna sound so blasphemous. So this is where you zoom in on Joe's like crazy facial <laughs> expression. I feel like you said whatever you're about Chief to say Chief Keefe is a, he's a living legend okay. because of his inspiration for this whole new wave of rap. I mean, if I'm gonna rank the people who is inspired, like all of these people that you may or may not like, we got Gucci, we got Chief Keefe and Lil B. That's like a triangle right there. They have inspired I'm a I'm putting whole, Soldier Boy in there too. Oh, yeah, we got to put Soulja Boy in there. Yep, make it a square. They have in influenced a whole wave of rappers. I didn't see that happening when I first heard them. Mm -hmm. But of course, people who love their music, maybe, because it's one thing liking somebody's music and when you're deciding to make music, you're, you're just going to make that type of music. The wave of uh, kids to come, they all just make their own version of what they kind of got from those people's music. And I, and I got to say, uh, that's influence. I, I dare y'all to name another rapper outside of like Drake or Ye with their influence on a sound that has influenced a whole bunch of rappers recently to sound like them. 
I can't because all the rappers sound like each other. I don't know. <laughs> but you agree with him on Keith's on how influential 100%. he is. One hundred percent. That's that's not to be questioned. You know how? Oh yeah, I think it's because you were calling Finally Rich a classic. That's where the debate started. This was early on in the show. I only laugh because Chief Keith is like rock him to him. That's the only reason I laugh. But you can't deny what he's accomplished and what he and what he's done. If if you the reason why I say Finally Rich is a classic is that all of these projects they don't even that's you know how most of these guys are dropping mixtapes mm -hmm. and I like even Yachty Yachty dropped a tape and or an album and it was cool. Finally, Rich was all hits. The, the same way how people are feeling about um, Lil Uzi Vert's like Love Is Rage 2 that didn't come out yet, mm -hmm. people felt that about Chief Key Finally Rich. Every song was a banger. He had a whole buzz, whole movement leading up to that point. And when it came to album time, it wasn't some watered down nonsense. It, it really inspired everyone else. So, Okay, so no one is disputing his influence. What about moving forward? I don't know. Uh, moving forward, this, and this is the funny thing, because everyone has criticized Chief Keef. When he came in the game, he was 16. Mm -hmm. He's now 22. He made a lot of dumb decisions. Chief Keef didn't show up to his own video shoot. Declined interviews. Chief Keef, shows. yeah, I mean, again, you're, you're right. He was, he was a child. But unfortunately, when you rub the music industry the wrong way, mm -hmm. and when I say the music industry, I mean the labels, we're dumping a lot of money into you and you just behaving like a child. That means we're going to stop dumping the money into you. And that's exactly what happened with Chief Keith. And, and more than even just the labels, shoot, he pissed off the people at the BT Awards. They banned him. Like, he got banned from so many things because at that point, he felt like yeah, he didn't need anyone. You could piss everybody off. You can't piss the label off. It's a fight that the artist has never won. We've never won that fight. Yeah. And also, uh, the, the good thing is that now that Jimmy and like Larry Jackson, they're at Apple Music, they're trying to do a documentary on him. I, I think he's probably seen the error of his ways. Um, I don't know if he would change his path though. Jimmy is a genius. There 100% should be a documentary on Chief Keith. We all would watch it. Yeah, he said he was gonna be, he could have been the first artist to have a deal with Apple that Larry Jackson had reached out to Easily. him, but he, Easily. he turned it down. Well, e Easily. Well, that was interesting. Imagine, he said that he, he didn't even understand what that was. He said they offered him a deal like three years before Drake got any type of deal with them, mm -hmm. The Weeknd and Chance. They offered him a deal because they that was their guy at Interscope. Uh, I remember when Chief Keith first came out. And, yeah. um, he had a certain accent, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, that he used in his music that I think separated him from others and yeah. sound a certain way. With trap music, do, is it necessary to, and, and if I'm asking you ignorant questions, it's because... I just want to get your insight on it, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, is it, do, do, it seems like everybody got a similar accent. Is that, is it, you know? Is well, that... I don't know. Well, yeah. Well, I, I listen, I'm not going to lie, I listen to a lot of like, so, so like, for yeah. real, for real. So yeah. a lot, like I listen to a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Like, even in my early, like my early days of like rapping, yeah. I was listening, because that's like, when I started rapping, it was like ASAP, then, then, like, cause I started in high school mm -hmm. and then like, so I listen to a lot of like all that stuff. Like everything I listen to, you can hear influence in my music. 